All right, hey guys. So today I'm gonna be making a quick video of this airsoft trap I got. Um, I'm gonna just reset these cans. Um, there we go. I got it on Amazon for seventeen dollars. I'm just don't mind me. I'm just <coughs> need to reload this gun real quick. Um, got it on Amazon for it was like seventeen dollars, probably including tax. It was like sixteen ninety something. So pretty much seventeen dollars. Um, <coughs> I'll put in the link in the description. In case you do want to buy this, now this is for airsoft only. It's an airsoft BB trap, so I wouldn't use really anything else. I wouldn't use. I just use the real light, cheap BBs, so there's even less chance of it penetrating. Which I don't think it would have to be a decently powerful airsoft gun for it to penetrate uh, through it. So, but I just use the light BBs, like .12s, just for shooting inside. I don't really care. Um, now here's the thing it came in. It popped out of this, like it just exploded when I took it out of this, but I don't know how you're supposed to get it back in there. It's fair, it folds up, I guess, but um, yeah, so. Um, where's the light? But uh, as you can see, oops, this first layer, whoops, won't focus. This first layer is like confetti stuff. And you can see you have this layer, it's like a little flat. There's one right here. They're just hanging from this, then there's one right here. They're kind of like lace, or not lace, but they're like overlap each other like this one right here then there's like another one you see it right there then in the very back there's one right there too so you got three of them you got this one right here this one kind of overlaps it so and the confetti stuff kind of helps with it from ricocheting back out usually it'll hit it maybe and slow it down enough or it'll hit usually it'll kind of deflect it to where it'll just go back fall back down in there so the cans I kind of try to keep behind the confetti most of the time almost none of them come out those are maybe like one usually it'll just like it will bounce around in there, then maybe it will just fall on the floor. But uh, I've had nothing go through. I've been, I'll show you the gun I've been using. Well, most of the pistols, they've been around the same or similar FPS as this one. This one's a little bit more. It's like 300 with .12s, the Crossman Stinger. And nothing has even gotten close to even going through. Most of them just kind of stop. After that first layer, once they go through a confetti, or if I hit one of the cans, usually they're pretty much stopped. But if, I, if it goes through, it'll hit maybe that first flap, and it'll really start to slow down. Then it might hit the second one, but it just it might hit those and just bounce. Even if you hit this, it's going to take quite a bit to go through that because it's flexible. It'll just kind of bounce on it. It's not going to really penetrate it because it's flexible. So Now, I'll shoot the cans a couple times. I'll show you. Not I don't think any of them are going to come out. Sometimes one might come out, but I'll just demonstrate to you real quick. So I'm going to shoot 12 shots real quick. Like that one, it just bounced straight up and hit the ceiling, up. ceiling, not the ceiling, but the roof of it. Like that one went straight up, just bounced. Yeah, another one coming out. None has come out yet. Now let me see, I'll hit that flat. Yeah, when I hit that flat, it just pretty much catches it. When I hit that flat. Okay, so that one, we had one come out. One bounced out. But it was going so slow, like, most times they don't even come out. So one came out. Most of the time, and you can see where they go, and you can just pick it right up. Now, like I said, I just use, I'd probably use lighter BBs. Just, I don't bother to reuse them, because when I shoot the cans, so I've had a couple busts when I hit the cans, so I just use the cheap ultrasonic ones just for shooting inside. Like today, it's too hot to even shoot outside, so I'll just use these. This is like 20 bucks, and it'll last a few months. So... <clears throat> yeah, so like I said, I just use real light ones. That gives it even less. There's less energy, and it won't. It'll have even less chance of going penetrating anything. I don't think it would penetrate it, but if you want to make it, if you have a little bit more, like a, a green gas gun or something, maybe something even more powerful, uh, you could always just put some blankets in the back. Either just uh, here, like you could just always. I mean, like in the back after that back flap, it's just empty. So you could just put, you know, a blanket or something back there if you wanted to. After, like, that flap, that flap, like you see right here, these flaps. Then there's that big one in the back. You could put maybe a blanket behind there, and nothing's definitely going to go through at all. So if that's if you have something more powerful. But, uh, yeah. And you could always, like, if you want to shoot a paper tar, I just get tape. You just tape it right there or clip it or something. But, yeah, it's, it's, it works pretty good. A lot better than I thought. And... So if you want to shoot your airsoft gun inside, I made a 
target out of a cardboard box and that wasn't really working a lot of the time they bounce off this really catches them. like you can see all the BBs down there the lighting in my room is horrible you can see them all right there or most of them at least as you can see right there but uh yeah so uh, like I said I'll put the link in the description if you want to buy it um, so yeah I think that pretty much wraps up the review of this uh, thanks for watching uh, Comment, rate, and subscribe. Yep.